Watching Kareem Jean-Pierre, the White House press secretary, folks, that's like watching a master class in how to read from a notebook that's filled with nonsense, exaggerations, misinformation, and outright fibs, otherwise known in political circles as flaming lies, okay? <laughs> well, this past week, she stepped into what my friend Larry Gatlin would euphemistically call bovine droppings <laughs> of her own making when she claimed that President Biden has reduced illegal immigration by 90%. Watch this. <laughs> ...tools that he's used to, to make sure that we do this, we actually deal with the immigration system in a humane way, uh, and in a, in a way that is uh, uh, that actually deals with what we're seeing at the border. And that's why you've seen the parolee program be so successful. Uh, it has, it has, um, it has uh, uh, when it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down uh, by more than 90%. And that's because of this act, the actions that this president has taken. Are you kidding me, huh? Even by using common core math or critical race theory math, the numbers are not only imaginary, they're laughable. I mean, according to the agency that actually has to track the numbers rather than the hot gas from the White House press podium, the numbers for fiscal 2022 were about 2.4 million. That's 136,000 more than the most ever illegal immigrants in U.S. history. That's hardly a 90% reduction. Now, how she could say such a thing and expect to be taken seriously is truly beyond me. I mean, not even CNN or BSNBC can pretend <laughs> that she didn't just pick a figure right out of her curls. I mean, saying something like that is so ridiculous on his face only because most of the media are committed to covering for Joe Biden's blunders. But how it doesn't result in a mass walkout from the press room with the last person leaving setting the curtains on fire is absolutely beyond me. <laughs> Folks, President Biden gets away with stuff so easily repudiated that I've decided to make a list of things that Corrine Jean-Pierre has claimed about her boss, and I want to share it with you now. You see, according to Corrine Jean-Pierre, Joe Biden was the arresting officer when John Wilkes Booth assassinated Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Joe Biden invented ice cream. And that explains why he's always having an ice cream cone. It's also true that he can eat as much as he wants and he never has brain freeze. <laughs> I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> she claims it was Joe Biden and not Charles Lindbergh who did the first transatlantic solo flight. He invented the phonograph and the movie projector. He still listens to vinyl records. His favorite is Pokey Little Puppy and the Pancake Party. <laughs> and his favorite movie is the autobiographical film, Psycho. <laughs> he was the first American to step on the moon, but Neil Armstrong took credit for it. <laughs> Here's a little secret. Joe Biden never fussed much about that because the actual video had him tumbling down the stairs of the <laughs> lunar module and hitting his head on some moon rock. So, by the way, it was actually Joe Biden who ended the Cold War. But he did it by claiming that global warming had thawed out the cold. <laughs> and therefore, there was no more war. And he also discovered the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and the Who. But when a reporter asked him, who was his favorite? He said, who? I, I guess the Beatles when they weren't stoned, but who you think is okay? Who else is there? By the way, Joe Biden was also the heavyweight champion of the world, defeating Muhammad Ali, and once biting the ear off of a guy named Corn Pop in a huge fight <laughs> that he won right after winning the Olympic swimming championship in a pool where the neighborhood kids like to feel the white hairs on his legs. <laughs> he and Al Gore invented the internet and he wrote a movie script for his son, Hunter, called Chinatown. <laughs> he also invented shampoo and that is why he's always sniffing the hair of little girls to determine what shampoo they use. 
I may have lost them on that one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just listening to the many things that Corrine Jean-Pierre claims her boss has done really makes you realize that it must be possible that a guy who only came out of his basement once a week and never drew a crowd bigger than a dozen cars in a Dollar General parking lot during his entire campaign could maybe, after all, win. Even though we couldn't put a sentence together that made sense, he was a great candidate after all. Even if he called a college student in one of his own rallies a lying dog-faced pony soldier. People still thought he was a nice old guy. And somehow he ended up getting more votes than anyone in American history, even more than Barack Obama. And as president, he gets up at the crack of noon. <laughs> and he works till 2 p.m. Then he takes a two-hour nap and calls a lid on the day at 4 p.m. And to all this, I salute Corrine Jean-Pierre because she's got a bigger imagination than Walt Disney and Steven Spielberg combined. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.